My name is Destry and welcome back to the Love Connection. No, but what if that was serious? I hope you're ready to get your vagina tickled. I'm not even a girl and that made me uncomfortable. But what's up guys, I hope you're feeling mighty sexy today. Seeing as how Valentine's Day is right around the corner. And nothing sucks worse than being single on Valentine's Day. Except maybe having an iguana suck your lips off. That, that would suck. I was once an adventurer like you, then I took an iguana to the lips. <laughs> What? Valentine's Day though is just a pit of doom for single people because all you see all day is a bunch of people celebrating how happy they are together. Oh my god, Dad, I love you so much. Oh, I love you. No, I'm pretty sure I love you, Janet. That might be true, but I love you more. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> So if you're single on Valentine's Day, just remember you have that gallon of ice cream, Netflix, and of course the only two dates you really need, lefty and righty. <laughs> Gross! Also, by the way, if your birthday is anywhere in November, chances are you were probably conceived on Valentine's Day. Yeah. Your dad, your mom. I'm sorry for ruining your life. Well, shave my nipples and call me a Ghostbuster. I'm so glad to see that you've come back to the gloriousness of Captain Dester's Q&A number 35. The show that is now old enough to start this midlife crisis. Yay! And in the spirit of Valentine's Day, I'm going to be answering a titload of relationship questions today. Make sure to follow me on Twitter and or Tumblr to ask me questions. Links below. Question number one. Captain Dester's, what is the best music to have sex to? I think personally for me, it's probably going to have to be Kesha. Because no matter how bad I am in bed, I'm not nearly as bad as Kesha's music. It gives me a nice comfort zone not to suck so bad. Seriously, baboons farting would sound more melodic to my ears than her music. Just my opinion. Question number two. How do I do the sex? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, it's just the way that you said that question it made me feel like I needed to say it in a Borat accent. How do I do the sex? Anyways though, to answer your question, I have no idea. Really, it's not like there's a class that teaches people how to have sex properly. Sex ed in school pretty much teaches you nothing about sex itself. You know, they just rather talk about how a penis works for 45 minutes. It's like, bitch, I know how a penis works. I've been slinging mayo since I was 11. I don't need to know how my fucking one-eyed yogurt squirter works. Tell me how to tickle the tuna taco for shit's sake. Like, can you imagine if sex ed taught you anything useful? Hello class, so today instead of learning how to put a condom on a banana for some fucking reason, we're first going to learn how to kiss your significant other properly. On the mouth, so calm down Jimmy. Aw oh, man. So at the count of three, I want everyone to begin sensually kissing your grapefruit. Everyone grab your grapefruit and three, two, Oh, oh my god, what the fuck? We're trying to kiss someone here, not resurrect Neptune with your ocean of spit. <laughs> For the love of all that is holy, what are you doing? Did no one hear me? We're learning to kiss today, not harpoon a whale with our tongue spear. Remember class, lips are the key. Destry, your form is excellent, never stop. <laughs> Good. Good. J Jimmy, what did I tell you about not kissing on the mouth? Ah, uh, fuck! And you, excellent form, I just smell your breath really quick. <laughs> Do you even know how many people's lives would be saving with that class? Question number three. Captain Nessus, how do you tell between lies and truths in the first two weeks of an online relationship? Well, the sad thing about online relationships is that most likely everything you've been told is a lie. <gasps> how do I know? Personal experience. Thought I was online dating Juno Temple. Ends up being a 43-year-old guy with a conviction of rape. Don't worry, though. We never got past third base in real life. On a serious note, though, it's really hard defending online dating to anyone because you just sound like an idiot. How do you know he's not seeing a whole bunch of other girls? Shut up, hell. Helen, humps everything that moves 105 wouldn't do that to me. How do you know you guys are serious? He's liked almost all of my Facebook pictures and he said one day it's possible that we could bump into each other. Okay, what do you think that means? How do you know he's not some creep who's gonna steal your liver? I'm cool, Helen. He was never convicted of stealing that woman's liver. Plus he sent me a picture this morning. Look how cute he is. Yeah, he says, can't wait to stuff you in my van. XO, XO. Suck it, Helen. Question number four. Captain Dustus, how do I get over walking in on my grandparents having sex? I haven't talked to them in over three weeks. Oh, God. Dude, don't be grossed out about that shit. Old people having sex? You should be giving them an award. That's incredible. Like, old men usually get erectile dysfunction and have to resort to using excuses that make no logical sense. Sorry, I can't have sex with you today. My blood hurts. I can't find my sock, so that means no to the cock. Sorry, honey, I peed on my nutsack again and it smells of sorrow, so we should probably just avoid that whole area today. But I suppose what you could do is extort them equally as bad as the amount you were traumatized. Grandma, Grandpa, I saw you guys having sex. I didn't want to see it, 
But I did. The amount of loose skin just shuffling around the room was worrying to me, to say the least. Easily put, it sounded like you guys were both stirring a pot of macaroni. And uh, I never knew your voice could go that high, Grandma, so thanks for that. So what I want is for you guys to not get me fucking books and shit I used to like when I was three years old for Christmas every year. Secondly, I want more than $12 on my birthday. That'd be fucking great. Thirdly, my name is Destry. Not Snookums. Not Pudding Cup. Destry. Lastly, if you guys ever try to pinch my cheeks again, I will break your fucking shins. Ah, oh, but honey, we not- Hey, old man, do you want to get your shins broken or not? No? So shut the fuck up and buy me a PS4. Alternatively, something you can do to anyone you hear having sex is do the exact same thing to them, only you don't have to have sex to do it. Yeah, no, just go right outside their door while they're doing it and start moaning, but make sure your moans are super unbelievable. Yeah, guaranteed it will ruin the mood and you'll have leverage on them forever. <sighs> Lick my butthole. Definitely go the fuck away. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that feels great. Wow, that is awesome. Works particularly well with best friends and people that you barely know. Question number five. Destry, what is your favorite place to eat out on a date? A vagina. Oh, what, my favorite place? Oh, but I'm actually gonna have to go with any kind of Mexican food. There's a thing I like to do called the nacho challenge, where if you can eat nachos in front of the person you're on a date with, and they don't leave you, you found a keeper. Seriously, there is no way to eat nachos attractively. Literally none. What? So that's pretty much how I know if I found a keeper. Question number six. Would you go if someone proposed LARPing as a date? Fuck yes. And for those of you who don't know what LARPing is, it's live action role playing. So basically, you dress up, go out into the wilderness, pretend you can cast magical spells, and you create some awesome backstory up for yourself. So I've actually tried LARPing as a date once. Did not go well. I was pretending to be an elvish scout trying to find a clan of orcs that captured. You know what, never mind. Anyways, the chick I was with was just the crankiest individual. So there I was, climbing up literally a mountain mountain in Idaho. My lady, what business do you have with the K on all? Destry, this is really fucking stupid. I'm not in the mood for this shit. So be it then. Keep your secrets. I promise not to mind meld you to find out them for myself. Ow, it fucking sprained my ankle. Why the fuck are we on a mountain? So yeah, this girl twists her ankle and I still decide it's a good idea to pretend to be an elf. Might I see your wound, my lady? I may not be as adept in the healing arts as my kin, but I can still try. Oh wow, yeah, that looks like it fucking hurts. Kiro smile, Alduir. Did that ease the pain at all? No, you just threw a rock at my ankle. It hurts fucking worse now. Hmm. This is more serious than I thought then. We have no time to waste. Only elvish medicine can save you. Now, we must get to Night's Vale. So that's when I picked her up, put her on my back, and proceeded to sprint down a mountain to get to my car. As promised, here's the elvish medicine I so promised. Which was really just Starbucks coffee I left in my car earlier. Probably could go down in history as one of the worst dates I've ever had. Oops. Oh well. Question number seven. Destry, what is your biggest pet peeve in a relationship? Good question, and that would probably have to be when a girl misconstrues what you say or twists it into things that you didn't actually say. What are you talking about, Destry? We don't do that. Yes. Yes. Yes, you do. Like, oh, hey, babe, that dress looks really good on you. I call me fat. You say this dress would look better on Oprah Winfrey's fucking ass. What? No, I was just. Yeah, you were just. You were just. You're just being an asshole. Do you know there's a book written about you, fucker? What? Yeah, it's called Horton. He was a bitch-ass little liar. I'm sorry, okay? I'm... You're sorry? Are you saying you did something wrong now? Are you cheating on me with that fucking whore you tweeted? That was my sister. <laughs> Women are like complex puzzles that men lack the key to. You need like ancient teachings from a lost civilization to even decipher what they're saying when they say things. For example, when a man says nothing, forget about it, he really means seriously, quit talking about it, you fucking bitch. Or nicer, if he's a nice guy. To a woman, nothing, forget about it translates to, you better figure out what you did wrong. Furthermore, I'm okay in man speak means seriously, I'm fucking fine. But in woman, it translates to please hold me forever, I need a shoulder to cry on right now. I'm cold in man is yo, I'm pretty fucking cold and I should probably get a blanket, but I'm too lazy to get it myself and shit. And of course, in woman, I'm cold means get a blanket and cuddle me, you whore. I mean, I don't mean to be sexist. If you're offended right now, whether you're a guy or a girl, it probably just means that you know what I'm saying is true. I can go on all day with these translations, but that just really takes the fun. 
fun out of it. Go out there, find your Valentine, and learn these translations yourself. Well, guys, that was it for Captain Nasa's Q&A number 35. I'm gonna go stroke an elderly man's beard for about three hours, so I gotta go. Thanks again for watching the love connection. I thought we agreed we were not gonna do that ever again. But I will see you next week for recap vlog number eight, and I love you all, so fair winds. Yeah.